Recently, the Supreme Court of Canada ruled that reciting the Lord's Prayer before council meetings would be unconstitutional. That prompted some wise guys to opine, what next, banning O Canada? Well, yeah, at least that's the case here in the town of Richmond Hill. Well, it's not that there was a ban put in place, but last week there was a discussion at council about what to do in terms of replacing the Lord's Prayer. One councillor suggested the singing or the playing of the national anthem. And incredibly, after the town received a legal opinion, council voted five to four against the playing of O Canada. But the question begs, why? This is a town in Ontario, in Canada. How is it that O Canada is anthem non grata when it comes to opening a council meeting. Tell us it ain't so. O Canada is too offensive for Richmond Hill? No, I'm not saying it's too offensive for Richmond Hill at all. I'm saying that we had a choice of how we were going to replace the prayer. You're aware of how we, our bylaw said uh, included a prayer. We had to remove that. We had a suggestion that we make a statement that talks about, uh, you know, similar to our oath of office, our duty to the residents as we begin a meeting and you know, consider uh, issues that are important to them. There was a second, re uh, uh, I guess, request or motion put forward that we sing the national anthem also. Council said, no, let's just deal with the motion uh, that we have before us, which is the statement that kind of explains why we're here at this meeting and, and not include the singing of the national anthem along with that. Our decision, we had a choice of one or two, we chose the one. But I understand, Mayor, that there was a legal opinion given about that this might not be in compliance with the Supreme Court's ruling about taking the uh, Lord's Prayer out of uh, council meetings. Can, can you, I guess, tell us what that legal opinion was all about? Well, the legal opinion was, you know, was given to us in camera. So the point was we were trying to clarify initially what the what the Supreme Court actually said. Was it just the uh, Lord's Prayer or was it any prayer? Was it, you know, how, in what, was there any words involved that we can't use or whatever the case may be? And we were given that advice that it wasn't the Lord's Prayer, it was any prayer at all. So when it comes down to the nitty gritty words, Mayor, um, I know the word God is in the national anthem. Was that the sticking point? No, not at all. Oh, okay. So in terms of the legal opinion, what would be, I guess dicey about having O Canada begin a council meeting. I don't think there's any anything dicey about having O Canada uh, begin a council meeting. Okay, then uh, I'm a little confused here because I, I made a choice okay. uh, for the for the statement that, as I said, reflects what we're here to do, and and to not add the singing or playing of O Canada to that to begin our meeting. And what would you base that on then, the not singing the O Canada before the meeting, Mayor? Based on my choice was to make the statement and not do both. Couldn't you do both? I, I don't feel we need to do both, quite frankly. There's, there's many councils that don't do anything. Never did say a prayer, never did sing O Canada, never make a statement on, you know, kind of reflecting on what, sorry, what we're here to do. So I think having a statement reflecting on what we're here to do is, is ample to begin a meeting and it doesn't require the singing of O Canada. Now, it was a very close vote, five to four, about not having O Canada. Do you think if this was retabled, I guess given the backlash, do you think some councillors might change their mind on this? Uh, you'd have to ask some councillors. <laughs> <laughs> would you change your mind, Mayor? I would not change my mind. I, I didn't vote against O Canada. I voted against one item being opening our meeting. I think what people struggle with is that we see old Canada being sung before school uh, takes place, uh, you know, before a hockey game uh, takes place. And I don't think there's been any outrage over that. So I, I think the, the debate has been generated in terms of why would a town in Ontario, in the country of Canada, have a problem with adding old Canada to the opening agenda? I, I would totally agree. We have a bylaw that uh, has our, we have to amend our procedural bylaw to remove the prayer. Um, and uh, I, I know for a fact in the Canadian Parliament, they do, they sing O Canada once a week, and that's prior to the meeting even being started. 
they say prayers every day of the week prior to the meeting being started. So everybody's protocol is different. So the issue is, is, is how do we fit it into a protocol? Yes. I want my grandchildren to sing O Canada every day at school. Please do. I don't have an issue with that. It's within our bylaw as how we start a meeting. And, you, and, and your point is well taken. Just council chose to make the statement only and not insert O Canada into our procedural bylaw. The majority of council approved that. I don't know how else I can explain it to you. And with Richmond Hill Councillor Greg Burrows, and Greg, you were the councillor who suggested last week that a fitting replacement for the Lord's Prayer would indeed be O Canada, but a majority of your colleagues voted against it. Who has a problem with O Canada? I don't know anyone who would have a problem with O Canada. I thought this was just a, a motion that would, would be inserted to be complimentary to the statement that was already being provided by one of my colleagues, and I had no idea it would become such an issue. Hmm. Now, you've replaced the Lord's Prayer with sort of um, uh, just a, uh, a statement that avoids any kind of uh, words involving religion or what have you. And as I understand it, the town sought a legal opinion about inserting O Canada before council meetings and were told it wasn't a good idea. Can you walk us through that? I, I can't really. That that commentary was in camera, and I'm not going to divulge that in camera discussion. But I mean, it, just giving an educated guess as an outside observer, all I can think of is the word God in the national anthem. And maybe was it a matter of the legal staff thinking that if the word God is used or sung, uh, that brings you back to the territory of the, the Lord's Prayer, i.e. it's too religious. And what I can tell you is it was, it, was, uh, it was quoted by the mayor in one of the big Toronto newspapers that he had actually said that it was the problematic with God that the legal staff had, had given him advice, now, quoting that paper. Now, Craig, if, if that is the case, I mean, is it reasonable to think that even a hardcore atheist would take the town of Richmond Hill to task over the, over the singing of O Canada because the word God is part of the lyrics? I couldn't imagine it for a second, but if someone did, I think that's a fight that every single Canadian could get behind and say, you go, uh, you go. Now, I see you are wearing a badge. It says, we are free to sing O Canada. Um, can you tell us what the next step is in this fight in terms of trying to get O Canada uh, sung before council meetings? Well, it's going to have to come be, uh, before council as a member's motion to actually get it properly on the agenda so it can be reopened and redebated. And I'm, I'm, I'm just encouraged by the, the hundreds and hundreds of emails and phone calls and Twitter and Facebook postings I'm seeing of people that are just saying, like I am, what's going on? Because this seems like a no-brainer, as I said before. So if you're to do a little crystal ball gazing, how do you see this playing out? Will this be reintroduced for re reconsideration, Greg? And if so, do you think there'd be enough on council to uh, overturn this decision? Well, given the, the, uh, the procedural bylaw, of course we can get it back in front of council. Are we going to have some members of council turn their vote to say, yes, let's allow it in there? I mean, it's not even a minute 30 seconds. So for anyone to say, well, it's going to take too much time in our meetings, that's just a poor excuse. I'm sorry. I'm with Richmond Hill Town Councillor Tom Munch. And Tom, you were one of the councillors uh, who did indeed support the singing of O Canada before council meetings. Were you shocked to see this get defeated five to four and the fact that there was a legal opinion by the town's legal staff that was saying basically singing O Canada is not a good idea? Um, I, I support the O Canada. I was second of the motion. I was very surprised of the opinion. Um, I let my committee members know and the others to say that I feel that the benefits far outweigh any plausibility of any negatives on this when the motion was was raised um i mean a lot of people would think that oh uh we can't say the lord's prayer anymore and that's a debate whether that decision by the supremes was right or wrong but having O canada replace the lord's prayer for a town in canada that must be a no-brainer and yet five to four council said no what what is the unspoken agenda here I can't speak for the others. I can tell you that uh, the feeling even afterwards and today, you hear they're saying we have a love for Canada. I think really, I think the context and the scale, they just 
it was brought them out of left field and they weren't prepared for. But I can tell you that our absolute love for Canada, love for everything it stands for, the freedoms, the spirit, the people. Um, unfortunately, the Lord's Prayer was, was a decision made uh, moving forwards. Now we have to decide what is the next best aspect for us to move forwards. And what Councillor Barrow suggested was, oh, Canada, in addition to other modes, uh, might be beneficial. And I 100% are on side with that. And Tom, I, I, what a lot of people can't wrap their heads around is the fact that O Canada in Richmond Hill is sung every day at private and public institutions, and yet for some reason uh, your legal staff has deemed it inappropriate for opening a town council meeting. Why? Oh, I don't think they said it was inappropriate. I think what they were worried about was the potential concern of how this was interpreted by the Supreme Court of Canada and um, how the Canadian anthem might impact with that. Again, I, I, as I said earlier, the plausibility of bringing in God and how that affects and the emotional aspect, and I think it's overanalyzing. At the end of the day, um, O Canada is a symbol of everything that we are and who we are. It's, it's, uh, I've said we stand for law, order, peace, and good government. I believe that O Canada is the foundation. And because we are a multicultural area and when you say that oath i've been fortunate to been to a couple of ceremonies and it is so heartwarming for those of us that traveled internationally when you and i wear the canadian flag i wear something canadian every single day mm. um i collect flag pins I'm, I'm i'm very proud of it and i think that is the foundation um, of who we are. So I, I think this is just an unfortunate situation in time, and I'm hoping Council will reconsider. One last question, Tom. Is this uh, decision going to be reconsidered anytime soon, or is this a done deal? No O Canada at Town of Richmond Hill Council meetings. Uh, no, Godwin Chan, uh, Councillor Ward 6, uh, brought it forwards today. It was recommended uh, that we should bring it to another um, council meeting, which will be next week, and it will be brought forwards, absolutely. And I guess if that is indeed the case, do you think some of the councillors that voted against O Canada are having buyer's remorse and might change their opinion and vote pro O Canada when it's raised again? I can't speak for anybody else, but I would hope that through further debate and discussion, um, I think this is a great opportunity for us to unite. And I would say to you, I, I would suggest likely that, that some of them will reconsider. Well, the battle to sing O Canada before Richmond Hill Town Council meetings is not over. Those four councillors that support the motion want it reintroduced, and it will be reintroduced at a later date. But folks, it's going to be an uphill battle. Consider these comments. Mayor Dave Barrow just released a statement, and he said that, quote, the decision was not about the national anthem or patriotism. Richmond Hill prides itself in being a diverse and welcoming community, a true reflection of Canada and what it means to be Canadian. The decision was about the appropriate way to begin a council meeting and the statement that council approved, meaning, of course, that it's inappropriate to sing O Canada. And even worse, Councillor Karen Selovitz, she said this, I absolutely agree that the playing of O Canada does not have a place in the opening of a municipal council, end quote. Well, if O Canada does not have a place in a town that is in Canada, where is its place? For the Rebel Daunt Media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies.